what will you be cooking in your backyard this summer? Fish? Steaks? Well, let's make sure it's not you and your neighbours. Here's the rules for backyard fire safety, because you don't want to be the silly sausage that starts a devastating fire. It only takes one spark. For gas barbecues and heaters, first up, check there's no leaks or damage. Keep any gas bottles or canisters that aren't being used at least five metres away. And even if you may not need a permit, make sure you check the conditions to make sure it's all right to light a fire and check it's all right. Like being a fullback, position is also everything in backyard cooking. Whether it's a barbecue, cooker, heater or brazier, put it in a sheltered spot. Choose a flat and stable surface away from anything that could catch fire. Have a no-go area for kids and pets, and don't use these things in confined spaces or indoors. And never leave it unattended until you've turned it off, because you might ruin your sausages and your neighbourhood. Burnt sausages, anyone? Afterwards, turn the gas bottle off and let it cool right down before refuelling or moving. For charcoal barbecues and fires, these two must be stable and away from anything flammable. Never use them on balconies or in confined spaces. If you're using it on a wooden deck, you'll need a barbecue mat. Thanks, Matt. Use charcoal starter fluid or fire starters, not petrol or kerosene, as the vapours may explode and affect the flavour of your food. After use, shut the vents and let it burn out. Make sure it's cooled totally before moving it. Here's to a great summer. Yay! And remember, before you light anything, check it's alright, and check it's alright, alright? <laughs>